of the itinerary, a section that all members of the group have been looking forward to with much excitement and not a little apprehension. Only Rainey experienced anything similar when he went bungee jumping before his accident. He decided well in advance that he's going to jump. Most of the others have adopted a wait-and-see attitude. Here we go. No game. Yeah. Roughing it, that's the thought that comes to mind when you arrive at the Felix Unite bush camp called Around the Bend. You can't get closer to nature than this. The pathways are sand, the terrain rugged, the rooms are canvas and thatch, the communal bathrooms are open to the elements. None of the group have been in a situation quite like this before. All of them are finding the experience immensely stimulating. Lashings of sunblock herald the start of the tenth day's activity, river rafting. The first rapids soon have pulses racing as the group once again heads into the unknown. It's a wet experience. A sense of conquest mixed with relief manifests itself in a water fight started by none other than Rainey. We rejoin the tour on a shark caging expedition off Dyer Island. With cages in place and the lure set, there's not long to wait. This ramp marks the start of a pleasure cruise on Table Bay aboard the ocean-going catamaran Le Tigre. Once again, it's clear that for an independent lifestyle, wheelchair people must hone their skills by learning to deal with as many varied situations as possible. The catamaran sets sail for one of the most leisurely and scenic events of the itinerary. A wine tasting session and a relaxed drive through the beautiful vineyards of Franschhoek and Stellenbosch make up the rest of a very pleasant day. The adventure element of the tour resurfaces on the 15th day. Aboard the wild thing, the group heads out into Table Bay once again. This time, it's jet skiing. Super. Rainey tries the ski on his own. The youngest member of the group, he's shown remarkable progress in adapting to his new life in the nine months since leaving hospital. Seventeen days after arriving in South Africa, it's time to depart. Horizons have been extended, dreams realized, personal goals achieved. They will always remember their South African adventure. We end this story with these words from Henry David Thoreau. If one advances confidently in the direction of his own dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours.